Hi, today I want to talk about deep platforming. This term is uh, getting um, more and more uh, usual and it basically means when uh, a platform kicks you out. So if you are uh, in Airbnb and Airbnb kicks you out or Booking.com kicks you out or Amazon kicks you out or Uber kicks you out or any of these platforms uh, kicks you out. So luckily it is not very common, uh, but it does happen. Uh, the most famous cases are in our industry with Airbnb. And the way this happens is pretty scary. You get an email um, where they basically tell you, you are out, all your bookings are canceled. Um, there is no way you can come back in. Do not ask us why, and uh, we are not uh, obliged to give you an answer. Now, if Airbnb is your only or one of the few providers of customers, you are basically screwed. Um, yeah, you could go on Booking.com or try to get your bookings from, from one or two more platforms which work, but you know, once you've lost your main uh, provider of bookings, it is really hard, it can be really damaging uh, for your business. If you are a host with one apartment or, or a property manager with a hundred. Now, Again, this is not happening a lot, so it's not something people worry too much about, but it's an underlying risk. It's always in the background. And what is worse than that, it's uh, what I could call ghost deplatforming, which means you're still in the platform. Uh, you just don't get bookings anymore, or your bookings are fewer than usual. Um, in that case, you don't even get an email and there is really no clear uh, explanation to, to why you stopped getting bookings. And, you know, the explanation could be many. Uh, it could be simply that your quality has gone down and you don't deserve any, any more customers. But it could also be that, for instance, that, you know, because you don't accept the, 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 the suggested prices, then, well, you, you go below, you go down in the rankings and uh, that's it. Uh, you are not following the suggestions, right? Um, now, this happens in every platform and it's actually going to happen in, uh, in, in any working platform, even in trips. Uh, platforms are not there to make you happy. They're not there to provide you bookings in, under any circumstance, circumstance, circumstances. Uh, platforms are there to, to make demand and offer meat at the best possible, you know, uh, uh, ROI. So, I mean, they, their role is to make happy both parties and sometimes somebody has to suffer. It does make sense. Trips will are the same way, in the same way will uh, deplatform some people. Well, the big difference with trips is that we are on an open ecosystem. Now, uh, imagine what happens when you've been working with Airbnb for five years and you have, I don't know, 500 reviews. How powerful these are, how valuable these are, right? And then Airbnb closes your account and you lose all these reviews. Okay. The big difference with trips is that you own your own reviews, you own your history, your, your own, your own listings. Yes, you will be, you won't be shown in trips anymore because maybe trips as a community decided you don't deserve to be there for any reason, wrong or right. But you take with you all the reviews, all your booking history, all your listings. You don't even need to kind of ask for permission to take them up with you. They are with you from the first day. It's very important to point out, this is not a concession Trips is making. The moment you create a profile in Trips, you're not creating a profile in Trips. You are creating a profile on the open blockchain. Okay, it's actually called ERC-725. It's an open protocol on the Ethereum platform. We, we don't own your profile. When you build your listing, it's the same thing. We don't own it, we don't keep it for you, we don't release it for you, it's yours from day one forever. We have no control on that. So you can go on competing platforms with trips, there's gonna be many. Uh, you can build your own platform with very, very little expense because everything is open, the code is open, and uh, all, you know all the other listings can join you for free. You know, basically, 
you are not locked in with us. Uh, actually, we hope that once you are in trips and you start getting your first bookings and trips, you go also on other platforms in the same ecosystem. This will make the whole ecosystem stronger and we're going to move you know, all the customers from the proprietary OTAs to the open OTAs and everybody's going to profit except, of course, from the proprietary platforms. So there is very little risk in, in, in adding your, you know, in trying to push your customers to book through trips because these are for the first time, I would say, in, uh, in history, at least since the advent of platforms, these are your customers. They belong to you and you, you have served them. The platform has just facilitated the, the transaction but they are yours and, and the relation be with your customers is, is between you two, peer to peer, two persons and no corporations in the middle. Okay, that was a concept I think is an easy one to, to grasp. Uh, it's probably not easy to understand how this is possible. Again, this is the magic, if you want, of the blockchain. Uh, as, as soon as we start getting real bookings, uh, this magic won't be magic anymore. It will be just how things work. And, we hope that uh, it, it, this happens as soon as possible. It will take time, of course, but the concept is really powerful. Uh, right now, we're working on making people understand the enormous advantages for everybody to move away from closed platforms to, to open platforms.